Okay, several people asked me to explain in detail um, the Studio Classroom that I set up that I'm using for distance learning and it actually didn't all come together at one time. I uh, just want to give you a brief tour and then kind of tell you how it evolved. So if I pan back from this, you can see that I'm actually standing behind the lighting. So I'm going to go into the studio classroom now where I actually stand and teach. And there's several important components. There's the whiteboard itself. And the whiteboard is made up of these two by four sheets that you can buy at Home Depot. Now, I bought these years ago and used them in my classroom regularly. And it's just that here, uh, and I, at that time I bought a single sheet, or actually I bought several sheets of uh, four by eight, uh, this white finished melamine kind of finish and I cut them into these smaller panels that I would use in group work with students. Well now I've actually kind of reversed the process and put them together to form one whiteboard. So uh, how I did that was you can see that it's attached to my to my uh, workbench and if I look behind the workbench here I mean behind here I've got you can see I have a a basic, you know, uh, frame structure that I built. And that frame structure took me, oh, I don't know, maybe about one hour to get it right and to get it straight. I guess I was kind of slow, but I was being deliberate about it. So I wanted it reasonably sturdy. And this is reasonably sturdy. Okay, so that's one component is the whiteboard itself. As far as lighting goes, first I brought in lamps and there was a lot of glare. And if I only had one lamp, then there'd be shadows. If I had two lamps, then there'd still be shadows, <laughs> but just less, I mean, in different directions. And the glare was noticeable on that white finish. Um, so after several iterations of trying to put up lampshades and a variety of different things, I finally just bit the bullet and bought sort of semi-professional lighting. This lighting system with the three lights and the reflectors cost $69 on uh, on uh, Amazon and to be honest I had already put a lot of effort into lighting that didn't work out and so it's just better to just buy it like this and it comes perfectly you know ready to go it has those light diffusers and as you can see from the board there's still some glare but it's not noticeable when you see the videos so it's pretty good um, I also set up this because just because it came with the kid it was no extra money and so I just put up a, a large sheet of white paper and that that reflects some diffused light. So I, I was intentional about lighting. By the way, if you haven't already noticed, this studio is in my garage. Now you could set it up in your, in a bedroom, in your uh, studio, I mean, in your office area, in a living room, who knows, wherever you wanna set it up. I need about, you know, I guess I need about 50 square feet to do this. Okay, um, now as far as the camera goes, so you could set up your laptop on a table and point it at the whiteboard and that would be fine. The reason I didn't do that is because, well, I'm not using my laptop. I have a separate computer with more power that I wanted to use. And so I bought a detachable camera. You can do that. It, this one cost me $49, so it's not huge quality, but it's pretty decent. There's a little bit of a fisheye effect going on, but it's not terrible. Also, probably the highest quality piece of gear that I have is that tripod. And I actually have that tripod for other purposes, for, for photography and so forth. So I wouldn't buy such a nice tripod for this. But, you know, you could buy a much cheaper tabletop tripod if you wanted to. I just happen to use that one because it's a good one. And I have it. Um, okay. I also bought a higher quality microphone. And the reason that I did that is because the, mic the cheap microphone that I had kept, you know, there'd be a lot of, like, squealing and popping and so forth. And this one cost me $35. So I've got $35 in a microphone, $49 in a camera, um, $69 in lighting. If you're adding that up, it comes to about $145. The amount of money that you spend on the whiteboard um, can be any amount, but the cheapest way to get out of it is go to Home Depot and probably buy an entire sheet like that for about $40. So right now I'm looking at about $185 for this studio. Now, including the lighting, the camera, not the tripod, uh, because I already had the tripod, and, uh, and the whiteboard. Now, 
You don't need to spend $185. As I said, you could set up your laptop and point it at the whiteboard. That would be fine. You just have to have a place to put it that, that will make it capture the majority of the, of the whiteboard. You can see I can easily set this up so that it captures the entire whiteboard. You also just need a whiteboard. You don't need to build the special frame. You could just hang your whiteboard on the wall. That would be fine. Um, you don't need to buy professional lighting. This is kind of semi-professional lighting. It's not real professionals wouldn't use this. But um, if you're going to put lighting on your whiteboard, which obviously you want to, you want it to be low glare and low shadow effect. So you're going to need at least two lamps um, or you're going to have to put it in a place where the ambient light is high, like in a sunny room or something, but not so the sun is glaring on the whiteboard. Okay, so you just have to think about lighting because your peop you know, the people that are going to look at your video have to be able to see the whiteboard, obviously. Okay, so I've made this solution. I was intentional about it. It took me several hours over actually several weeks because I was thinking about the many different ways that um, I could improve the quality. And so I think it's not necessarily that you have to set up this way. I don't even think most people would. But um, just ideas, like think about the lighting, think about where you're going to place your camera, doesn't matter which camera you use, think about where you're going to put your whiteboard and make it in a way that makes it easy for you to interact. All right, I hope this helps.